All right, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be uh, talking about a little uh, starting issue that I'm having with my Pioneer 700. So I recently had uh, the Pioneer in to the dealer to fix a uh, recall or to perform a recall. While I had it in there, I said, hey, take a look at how it starts when it's cold. It seems to me that it, you know, you have to crank it way too much. So what I found is that it will just crank and crank and crank and crank and it won't want to start and eventually it'll probably start you know it sounds like it's running the battery down we all know these things have undersized batteries from the factory but if i turn it and crank it a little bit and then immediately let off the key turn it off turn it back on and crank it usually fires right away so the dealer called me and said even though this thing's only got 128 miles and it's less than a year old they said eh, it's kind of normal for these things but it'd be a good idea to replace spark plugs. You need to replace your spark plugs. And I'm like, okay, 128 miles under a year old. Isn't that under warranty? They said, no, Honda considers spark plugs uh, a wear item. So they're not covered under warranty, kind of like a filter or something. So it wasn't really crazy with their answer, but if that's what Honda says, that's what Honda says. So I was kind of curious if that really would help changing the spark plugs. So these come with regular NGK spark plugs from the factory. They are uh, not iridium. They're just regular old cheap spark plugs. That's a place that Honda really cheaped out. So on any kind of power sports or motorcycle or anything, it's always a good upgrade to put an iridium NGK spark plug in, especially if it comes with the NGK from the factory. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, Hopefully, it does help with the starting issue. If not, you probably won't even see this video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it starts. It's about 23 degrees outside in the garage here. It's about, eh, it's under 32 degrees. So I always let it prime until it complete, until the gauges prove out before I try to start it. So this is a cold start. It's been sitting for over 24 hours. Okay. All right, so you saw it took, to me, that's way too long. It's fuel injected vehicle. It should not start like that. I don't care if it's cold or not. Okay, so you can see how that starts. I'm not really happy with that. You know, that, that actually that battery is so small, it kind of puts a hurt on it, especially when it's really cold out. So in contrast, this is my Honda Rancher 420. I think it's a, if I remember, it's a 2016 model. So this thing, similar engine. Let me turn off the headlight here. Try to fire it up. Okay, see it fires right up and that's cold. So, you know, that's kind of like what I expect out of a Honda with a cold start, even when it is 23 degrees outside. All right, so I've got the bed up, flashlight here. You can see, even though this is a single cylinder engine, if we look at the coil here and the output wires, we have two spark plugs. So the top one is that yellow boot right there on the top of the head, and the second spark plug is right there below it. So the dealer wanted $170 to change these two spark plugs even though this will probably take about three minutes in my garage with basic hand tools. So definitely not something you pay the dealer to do. Okay, so the spark plugs I'm using, there'll be a link in the description below. Be careful when you're buying NGK spark plugs because there are a lot of counterfeits out there. So you probably wanna buy them from like a parts store. If you buy them from Amazon, make sure you're buying them directly from Amazon, which means Sold by and ships from Amazon.com. Not just Prime, it has to be sold by Amazon themselves. A right, little bit of background information. The early Pioneer 700s, uh, they only had one spark plug. And I believe it was 2015 that they changed to a two spark plug design. They also changed the part number on the plug. So uh, if you have a pre-2015 Pioneer 700 with one spark plug, 
do not buy the part that I have listed below. That's not the correct spark plug. You'll need to, you know, Google what you need. Change these, pretty simple. Just pop those cables off. We'll get out our spark plug socket and I'll pop those spark plugs out real quick. Right, I'm gonna start off with a little compressed air, kind of blow out the, the area. Or take spark plugs out that way if there's any dirt or anything around the holes it doesn't fall into the engine so to break that loose take it up by hand You can see, it's definitely not running lean. It stinks like gas. So she's running pretty rich. So here's the new plug. So if we look at the old part number, CPR6EB9. This one's CR6EIA9, which basically, you can see it's like same reach I just have the iridium tip on the new one versus the old one here and before you put them in um, just make sure these come pre-gapped just make sure it hasn't been bent down or mashed up or anything like that okay so we've got this little retainer here holding the wire See down there with just the shortest extension. Otherwise, we won't be able to get it out. Same thing. It's pretty rich. Not as wet as the other one though. So here's the, the, the plug that came out of the motor right here, the OEM plug. Okay, so you can see that it has this, what's called a, well, it's the type of terminal, but in the NGK world, a terminal nut is what this is called. So this is what the plugs look like that came out of the engine here. And if we look at our new plug, you can see that the difference is it does not it has a threaded top it does not come with uh, the correct terminal type so our spark plug wires will not correctly attach to our new plugs so on a lot of ngk plugs this is just screwed on to the top so i tried to unscrew it but this is a completely different type of plug and that basically broke that so not that i'm going i care because i'm not re reusing it but so basically you need a set of terminal nuts they used to come in the box on most NGK plugs, and I don't know if they're getting cheap on us or what's going on here. So you can buy the terminal nuts separate, and they're fairly inexpensive. Um, but I was not prepared for that. I figured they would come in the box. So I wanted to get this project done. So what I did is I ran over to my local AutoZone and just bought a set of cheap NGK plugs that came with the terminal nuts on the top. So in this case, the BR8 ES plug. So these were about a little under $3 a piece. So you can see on this one, this little top, I just get it started. I can unthread that. And here's our new Iridium plug. These are universal for NGKs, it's all the same, so. Thread that on to our new plug here. Now you can see that has adapted the top, so it's just like our old plug. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this top plug put back in. So to get that in, I'm just gonna stick it in our spark plug socket here.
get this started by hand. and reinstall our boot. Make sure you get it seated all the way. Okay. All right, so that's all there is to it. Just make sure everything looks all right. Now the true test, let's try to fire it up and see if there's any difference. All right now, cold start, let's see if it made any difference. Eh, yeah, a little bit. did seem to start a little bit better uh and, and it did fire you know on the first turn without me having to just crank and crank and crank and then turn it off and back on so it did do something uh but you know it's not i don't think it's the magical cure i think that these things are just a little cold-blooded by nature and they just take a little bit to get them started but once they're started they run good so definitely can't hurt uh that's an upgrade i do in all my power sports and motorcycle projects is Make sure it has an iridium plug. They just do fire off a lot better, especially under, you know, harsh conditions. You know, if you have like a rich or lean type setup. So hope the video helped you out. Again, I'll leave links to everything you need just to do this simple upgrade. Whether you're just changing your plugs or you are looking for a little bit better starting performance, I do recommend going with the iridium plugs. It's just, a, uh, you know, a few dollars more to get a better plug. All right, be sure to like the video, leave your comments below. Until next time, we will see you later.